Today is Sunday, September 28th, and this is News from the Frunk, Episode 1. I'm trying. Hey everyone, welcome to News from the Frunk. This is my Tesla Model S, uh, and over the next few weeks and months, I hope, I'm going to be producing a fairly regular series of updates where I'll share latest news that's going on in the Tesla world. Software version 6 is out. Sometime around September 9th, Tesla released the latest version of the software for the Model S version 6. It includes what they describe as some major enhancements. The first update is traffic-based navigation. The Model S now takes into account how busy the traffic is when calculating routes and will automatically reroute the car. Some users have reported that the default settings are quite sensitive and doesn't always give the optimal navigation. Hopefully Tesla will improve this in a future software release. The second update is to add a new app called Calendar. This synchronizes between iPhone and Android and displays your calendar in the car on the 17 inch display. The third update is Remote Start. You can already unlock the car using the Android or iPhone app, but with Remote Start, you can now drive without the fob. It requires you to enter your password for your Tesla web account in order to get the car going. There are several other updates, and Tesla has written a blog post about it, and there's a link down below the video. Last week was National Drive Electric Week, and last Saturday I went down to Fort Lauderdale to participate in one of the events. Unfortunately, it was a bit of a washout. Of the three hours that we were there, two and a half hours was pouring rain. Quite a few people came by and looked at the cars and we had a great time chatting with everyone. One of the people who came by was a teacher from a local elementary school. And a few days later, I went in and spent the afternoon with probably a hundred or so fourth and fifth graders, talking to them about Tesla, about electric vehicles, and about climate change. The afternoon culminated with me opening up the car and letting them climb all over it. Fortunately, no damage was done, and they all had a great time. Supercharger news this week, and Tesla has opened the 200th Supercharger, this one in Oxnard, California. In production news, the second line at the Tesla factory is now cranking out cars, and I noticed in the forum the other day that VIN 57,000 has just been allocated. Last but not least, Tesla stock finished the week 246.60, down 5% on the week. This is after JP Morgan softened their guidance on the stock. This follows on from comments Elon made a couple of weeks ago saying he thought the stock was quite high. Personally, I'm very long on Tesla. I think it has a long way to go. That's it for episode one, short and sweet. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be back soon with some more updates from the front. If you'd like to learn more about Tesla and their amazing car, my book, Owning Model S, The Definitive Guide to Buying and Owning the Tesla Model S, is available online. Link down below.